Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 and in this video I am going to show you 16 best features for this tablet. So let's start. The first feature is about multitasking. So for example, I open Samsung notes and here I will start taking notes and on the other side, I can open another app. So I will take out this edge panel and then from here I can easily drag and drop any app. So I want to open this internet browser. I will drag and drop it here. So I can use both of these apps together. The next thing is if you want to drag any image from your internet browser to your notes, you can do it. So for example, I select this image. Now I will press and hold it and then I can easily drag and drop it here in my notes. And then if you want, you can also rotate it. You can crop it as well. And then if you want, you can also do the highlighting as well. The next thing is if you want, you can also bring any text from a website to your notes. So I will go back from here and then again I will go back and then I will try to open a website. For example, I want to open this website and then from this website I want some text. So for example, I want this text. So what I will do is I will just scroll down here and then I will start selecting the text. So I will select it till here. Now again, I will press and hold it like this and then I can also drag this text into my notes. And then if you want, you can also edit it. The next thing is you can also change the position of these apps. So here you can see you can change the position and then you can also make your favorite app combo. So you can add this app pair to your taskbar, home screen or to the edge panel. The next thing is you can also open more apps in pop up view. So you can take out this edge panel and then from here you can select any app. For example, I want to open this Excel so I can drag it and then I can drop here in the pop up view. So now you can see I have this third app also open in pop up view and then if you want you can also change its size as well. So same way you can also drag any app from your taskbar. So for example, I I want uh, this zoom app and then I can open it in the pop up view like this. So now here you can see I have four different apps open. The next thing is you can also drag these apps to the split screen. So I select this blue bar and then I select this split screen icon. So once you select it, it will open in the split screen. The next feature is about screen recording. For example, you have a video lecture going on and you want to open another app so you can use the edge panel or you can use the taskbar and then you can drag and drop the app in pop up view. So here for example I open the Samsung notes so you can take important notes you can use the other tools for this app as well. Now the next thing is you can see this app is blocking the view behind so you can use the opacity option. So select this blue bar from here and here is the opacity icon just select it and then from here you can reduce the opacity capacity for this app. Now you can see the video behind and you can also work on this app as well. The next thing is you can also do the screen recording of your note taking and the video behind. So just bring down this quick panel and here is the screen recorder option. So just select this screen recorder and then select start recording. And then after this countdown, your screen recording will start. Start. The next thing is here in the screen recorder you have this pen tool. So if you want to highlight anything important in your video you can use this pen tool. You can also use it on your app as well. Once you finish with your recording you can just stop it from here and then your recording will save in your gallery and later you can share it. The next feature is about book reading. So you can use this tablet for book reading and then if you want to study for a longer period of time, you can also use the eye comfort shield option. So bring down this quick panel and then from here you see this option of eye comfort shield. So just press and hold it like this. It will open the eye comfort shield settings. You can turn it on from here and then from here you can change the color temperature. So you can reduce the color 
color temperature or you can increase the color temperature if you want to study for a longer period of time so now for example i open this app and here you can see you can easily use this app for a longer period of study the next feature is about Samsung ecosystem. For example, I will take out this edge panel and then I will scroll to the clipboard. So here you can see the clipboard is currently empty. Now, whatever I copy on this Samsung device, it will also be available in Samsung Galaxy Tab A9. For example, here I open this website and now I want to copy this image. So I will press and hold it like this and then I will select this copy image option. So now this image will also be available here on this tab. So I will take out this edge panel now and you can see the same image is now available here. Now if you want, you can also use this image. For example, I open Samsung Notes and now I can easily drag this image and then I can paste it in my Samsung Notes. One more thing I want to mention here is below this video, you see this like button. If you press it, it will change its color. You can try this experiment. The next feature is about digital planning. So you can use the Penly app for digital planning. So here we have this year calendar with different tabs and buttons. So for example, if I want to select January, so I can select it from here. And on this side, I have different dates. For example, I select third date. And then here on top, we have other options as well. So here we have this to do list option. Then here we have this notes option. So you can select any format. For for example, I select this format and then also you have these tools available on top. For example, you can use this pen tool and then you can write your important information and then you can also use this highlighter option as well. The next thing is you can also create different shapes. So here is the shapes option. So you can create different shapes as well. The next thing is you can also create hyperlinks in this app as well. The next feature is about PDF annotations. So you can use the Zodo app for PDF annotations. And here we have all the important tools available. For example, if you want to highlight something important, you can use this highlighter tool. You can also use this underline tool if you want to underline any text. Then we also have this pen tool available. So you can write on your PDF as well. You can also add different shapes. You can also add or delete pages as well. The next feature is about pen support. So guys, this tablet does not support S Pen. So here I bought this stylus from Amazon and I am only using this fiber mesh tip because this copper tip is not working fine with this tablet. The next thing that I want to mention here is about note taking. So guys, please note that for perfect note taking, you cannot use this tablet because the Samsung Note also has limited features in this tablet so if you want all note taking features you have to go with Samsung S series tablets for example you can go with Samsung S6 Lite S7 series S8 series or S9 series tablets the next feature is about modes. So if I bring down this quick panel and then from here I will select modes and then I will select study mode. Now everything will become a grayscale. Restrictions apply on some apps. Do not disturb feature will turn on. So now I can fully focus on my studies. If I turn it off from here, so I will go back and turn off the study mode. It will go back to the normal tablet mode. So you can add modes and you can customize them so you have to go to the settings and once you enter into the settings just select this option of modes and routines and then from here you can add mode and you can customize them the next feature is about widgets. So you can add multiple widgets on your home screen and you can also control them directly from your home screen. So here you can see I add this photo widget with multiple images. I can also listen to my audiobooks using this Spotify widgets. Then I have this screen time widget and then I also have this habit tracker widget. So how to add multiple widgets? Just press and hold on the home screen. then. Say 
select this widgets option and once you go inside the widgets option you have multiple widgets available over here so you can add this device care digital well-being you can add gallery widget so there are a lot of options available so this will be really helpful in your productivity now i'm going to test gaming on this tablet so the tablet that i'm using has 4 gb of ram and 64 gb of storage you can also extend the memory of this tablet so it has this sd card slot as well the processor of this tablet is mediatek helio g99 so you can see the gaming performance everything is going perfectly smooth so here you can see the performance the next feature is about smart select tool so if you want to take a screenshot of some specific part of the screen you can use smart select tool so take out this edge panel and then you can scroll to the smart select panel then from here you can select this rectangle option and then you can adjust it anywhere on your screen and you can also change its size now for example i want to take screenshot of this part so i will adjust it like this and i will also change its size so once I finish I will select this done option and then here you can see only this specific part is selected now if you want you can also edit it so here is the pen tool so you can select this pen tool now if you want to write something you can write over here so once you finish with your editing you can just save it from here and then later you can share it and you can also work on it the next feature is about add to note for example you are scrolling through a website and you find some important information and you want to save it for example i want to save this text so i will start selecting it so i will press and hold it like this and then i will start selecting this text till here now i want to save it so here is the option of add to note so i will select this add to note option so this text will be added to my note notes and i can also edit it so here you can see all this text is available in my samsung notes and it will also show me the link so you can also open this website using this link if you want to delete this link just press and hold it like this and you can delete it from here now let's talk about the cameras so the rear camera is 8 megapixel and here we have different options available so if i go for more option so here you can see we have this pro panorama food night and hyperlapse option the front camera is 2 megapixel so you can use it for zoom meetings now let's talk about some other features so this tablet has tft lcd display and the screen size is 8.7 inches so it also has this 3.5 mm audio jack and it has two speakers so one speaker is on this side and the other speaker is on this side it also has the dolby atmos option and you can also use the dolby atmos for gaming now let's talk about some of the missing features in this tablet so this tablet does not have samsung dex it does not have palm rejection technology it does not include s pen note taking is very limited with limited tools it does not have air command features you can only open two apps in a split screen the software is android version 13 with one ui 5.1.1 version so guys this is for today's video please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much